Imagine you're a talented actor, known for your versatility and charm, but you've never gotten your big break. Then, out of the blue, you get a call, an opportunity to join one of the most popular sitcoms on television, Two and a Half Men. It's a dream come true, a chance to be part of something huge, and you can already envision the fame and fortune that will follow. But what if I told you that the reality of the situation was far from glamorous? What if the salary you received for your work on one of TV's most watched shows was a bitter pill to swallow? Today, we uncover the surprising and often harsh truths behind the paycheck of one of two and a half men's beloved stars. Get ready, because this story will change the way you see Hollywood forever. Conchata Farrell Conchata Farrell, the formidable actress who brought the character of Berta to life on the hit sitcom Two and a Half Men, was an enduring presence on television. Despite initially being intended for a limited role, Farrell's portrayal of Berta became one of the show's most beloved elements. Capturing audiences' hearts over 12 seasons, Farrell's character, Berta, was a housekeeper with a sharp tongue and a sarcastic wit. She had a unique way of cutting through the nonsense of the show's lead characters, often challenging them with her unfiltered observations. This quality made Berta not only a source of comic relief but also a character who stood her ground, even when faced with authority figures who were supposed to be her bosses. As the series progressed, viewers grew increasingly attached to Berta, despite the fact that little of her personal life was revealed. The reason behind this emotional connection is clear, Conchata Farrell infused Berta with a depth of humanity that went beyond the surface. Though Berta maintained a tough exterior, Farrell masterfully portrayed her as a character with hidden layers of vulnerability and warmth. This balance made Berta a character worth caring about, even though much of her backstory remained shrouded in mystery. Interestingly, Farrell's role as Berta was not originally planned to be as significant as it became. The character of Berta was meant to be a minor part of the show, but Farrell's dynamic performance changed that. Her ability to blend humor with a touch of realism won over both viewers and critics alike, leading to Berta's expanded presence on the show. Throughout her time on Two and a Half Men, Conchata Farrell appeared in over 200 episodes, from the show's debut in 2003 until its conclusion in 2015. At the height of her career on the show, she was earning $150,000 per episode. This substantial salary translated to approximately more than $3 million per season, a significant portion of her estimated $10 million net worth at the time of her passing. While Farrell had a long and varied acting career before Two and a Half Men, it was her role on this popular sitcom that contributed the most to her financial success. Sadly, Conchata Farrell's life came to an end on October 12, 2020, at the age of 77. Her death followed a series of health issues, including a cardiac arrest at Sherman Oaks Hospital in Los Angeles. Farrell had been struggling with health problems since 2019, including a life-threatening kidney and blood infection that required hospitalization. In July 2020, she was moved to a long-term care facility after suffering a heart attack. Following her death, her co-star John Cryer, who played Alan Harper on the show, paid a heartfelt tribute to her. Cryer took to Twitter to express his sorrow, stating, she was a wonderful person. Berta's rough exterior was a creation of the writers. Chatty's warmth and vulnerability were her true strengths. I weep for the woman I will miss, and the joy she brought to so many. This tribute encapsulates the sentiment of many who knew and admired Farrell, reflecting on her as a person of great warmth and character, despite the tough exterior she portrayed on screen. Holland Taylor Holland Taylor's role as Evelyn Harper on the hit comedy Two and a Half Men remains one of her most memorable performances. Airing on CBS from 2003 to 2015, the show featured Taylor in the pivotal role of Evelyn. The wealthy and often abrasive mother of Charlie and Alan Harper, and the grandmother of Jake and Jenny. Evelyn Harper, often dubbed, Evelyn the Mother, was not your typical sitcom mom. As a successful real estate agent, she exuded wealth and privilege, and her constant meddling in her son's lives made her a character that viewers loved to hate. Her presence on the show was marked by a blend of sharp wit and emotional detachment, traits that Taylor embodied with remarkable skill. Evelyn's character became infamous for her interference and relentless attempts to control her family creating numerous comedic and dramatic moments throughout the series. Taylor's performance as Evelyn was met with widespread praise, earning her four Primetime Emmy Award nominations for Outstanding Supporting Actress in a Comedy Series. These nominations reflect the impact of her role and the high regard in which her performance was held by both critics and peers. Despite the acclaim, 
Taylor's salary for two and a half men was around $75,000 per episode. While this figure was substantial, it was relatively modest compared to some of her co-stars, reflecting the disparity in earnings among the show's cast. Interestingly, Taylor's role in the series became less frequent as the show progressed. This reduction in appearances did not significantly alter her salary, which remained stable throughout her tenure on the show. The decision to scale back her involvement was likely due to the evolving dynamics of the series and shifts in storyline focus. Beyond her role in Two and a Half Men, Holland Taylor's financial success is attributed to her long and varied career in the entertainment industry. With an estimated net worth of around $12 million, Taylor's wealth is a result of her extensive work in film, television, and theater. Her career has spanned several decades, during which she has taken on diverse roles that showcase her remarkable range and versatility as an actress. Charlie Sheen Charlie Sheen's tenure as the lead actor on the CBS sitcom Two and a Half Men stands out as one of the most prominent periods in his acting career. Cast in the role of Charlie Harper, Sheen quickly became synonymous with the show, delivering a performance that would become one of his most iconic. From 2003 to 2011, Sheen brought Charlie Harper to life, a character whose hedonistic lifestyle and humorous escapades were central to the show's appeal. Sheen's work on Two and a Half Men was widely recognized, leading to multiple Golden Globe and Primetime Emmy nominations. His role was not just a career highlight but also a defining moment in television comedy. Showcasing his ability to combine comedic timing with a charismatic screen presence. During the show's eighth season, Sheen's salary reached an astonishing nearly $2 million per episode, reflecting his high value to the show and his status as one of television's top stars. The financial success of Two and a Half Men during this period was significant, with the show generating $155 million in its final season alone, thanks in no small part to Sheen's star power and performance. However, Sheen's journey with Two and a Half Men did not end on a high note. His departure from the show was marked by controversy and conflict. The actor's time on the sitcom was cut short due to a highly publicized dispute with the show's creators. In the aftermath of his departure, Sheen's career faced numerous challenges. Despite the financial windfall from his role on Two and a Half Men, his current estimated net worth stands at approximately $3 million. This significant decrease from his peak net worth of around $150 million reflects the substantial impact of his tumultuous personal life on his financial stability. Sheen's personal struggles have been well documented and have included issues such as substance abuse, domestic violence allegations, and involvement in various conspiracy theories. These controversies and legal troubles have contributed to the erosion of his once considerable fortune. The combination of these factors, along with less successful career ventures, has led to a stark contrast between his past financial prosperity and his current situation. Ashton Kutcher when Two and a Half Men faced the challenge of replacing Charlie Sheen. The producers knew they needed a strong replacement to maintain the show's popularity and financial success. The task of finding a new lead was daunting, but they ultimately turned to Ashton Kutcher, a choice that would significantly impact the show's future. Kutcher, known for his comedic charm and star power. At the peak of his involvement with Two and a Half Men, Ashton Kutcher was earning a staggering $800,000 per episode. This lucrative salary amounted to around $20 million per season, positioning him as one of the highest paid actors on television during his tenure. Kutcher's role on Two and a Half Men marked a new chapter in his career, but it was far from his only achievement. He gained early fame with his role on the hit sitcom That 70s Show, where he showcased his comedic talent and established a strong fanbase. In addition to his television work, Kutcher appeared in several notable films. His performances in Dude, Where's My Car? The Butterfly Effect, and My Boss's Daughter further cemented his reputation as a versatile actor capable of handling both comedy and drama. Dot. Beyond his acting career, Ashton Kutcher has made significant strides in the business world. He is a co-founder of A-Grade Investments, a venture capital firm that has invested in various successful startups. This venture into business demonstrates Kutcher's acumen and ability to leverage his fame into profitable enterprises. As a result of his achievements in both entertainment and business, Ashton Kutcher has accumulated an impressive net worth estimated at $200 million. This substantial wealth reflects not only his high earnings from television and film but also the financial success of his investments. Angus T. Jones When Two and a Half Men first aired, Angus T. Jones was just a kid, 
stepping into the role of Ake Harper, the lovable but lazy son of Alan and Judith Harper, which catapulted him into the show's central character with a signing bonus and an impressive salary. His initial earnings of over $200,000 per episode quickly escalated, and at the height of his tenure, he was making up to $350,000 per episode. This remarkable salary translated to an annual income of approximately $9 to $10 million. Establishing Jones as one of the highest paid child actors in television history. However, despite the success and financial reward, Jones's relationship with the show took a dramatic turn. Jones made headlines for his outspoken criticism of Two and a Half Men, 2012. He publicly denounced the show, calling it trash, and stating that it conflicted with his religious beliefs. In the video, Jones expressed his desire to distance himself from the show and urged viewers to stop watching it. The backlash from his comments was swift, and Jones's public disavowal of the show caused a stir within the industry. He later expressed regret for his statements and made a brief appearance in the show's final episode in 2015, marking a symbolic return to the series that had defined much of his early career. Since his departure from Two and a Half Men, Angus T. Jones has largely retreated from the public eye. He focused on his studies at the University of Colorado Boulder, prioritizing education over his acting career. Recently, Jones was spotted in Los Angeles with a notably different appearance. Sporting long hair and a beard, and carrying a guitar case while going barefoot, he seemed to embrace a more laid-back lifestyle. Despite these public sightings, Jones has remained tight-lipped about his future plans and whether he intends to return to acting. His lack of involvement in new projects and his choice to stay out of the limelight suggest a preference for privacy over public engagement. Marin Hinkle Marin Hinkle, known for her role as Judith Harper Melnick on the hit sitcom Two and a Half Men, has carved out a distinguished place in the entertainment industry. Her portrayal of Judith, Alan Harper's ex-wife and the mother of Jake and Millie, brought a unique blend of complexity and sharpness to the character. Judith is often seen clashing with Charlie's lifestyle and Alan's parenting decisions, adding a layer of tension and drama to the show. During her time on Two and a Half Men, Marin Hinkle was among the highest paid supporting cast members. Earning a staggering $500,000 per episode, this impressive salary underscores the significant role she played in the series. Her compensation highlights the importance of her role and the show's recognition of her talent. Beyond her earnings from Two and a Half Men, Marin Hinkle's financial stability is further supported by her extensive career in film, television, and theater. Her work spans several notable projects, contributing to an estimated net worth of around $4 million. In recent years, she has garnered significant praise for her role in The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel, a critically acclaimed series that has further established her as a formidable actress. Her performance in this series earned her nominations for the Primetime Emmy Award for Outstanding Supporting Actress in a Comedy Series in both 2019 and 2020. With a career marked by both critical acclaim and financial stability, Marin Hinkle remains a prominent and respected figure in television and film. John Cryer John Cryer's journey to fame started with his breakthrough role as Ducky in the 1986 John Hughes classic Pretty in Pink. This role was pivotal in launching his career, setting the stage for his future successes. However, it was Cryer's role on Two and a Half Men that solidified his place in television history. Portraying Alan Harper, the financially struggling and emotionally fraught older brother of Charlie Harper, Cryer brought a unique blend of vulnerability and humor to the character. Alan's predicament, being broke, homeless, and navigating the complexities of life after a tumultuous divorce, provided a rich source of comedy and drama throughout the series. Cryer's contribution to Two and a Half Men was significant, both in terms of his performance and his compensation. Throughout the middle seasons of the show, Cryer earned an impressive $550,000 per episode. By the 11th season, his salary had increased to $650,000 per episode, reflecting his integral role in the show's success. This substantial increase in pay resulted in Cryer earning more than $15 million per year in base salary before considering syndication and rerun royalties. For the final two seasons of the show, Cryer's earnings topped $30 million, underscoring his value as the series' longest-serving cast member. With a net worth estimated at around $70 million, his earnings from Two and a Half Men contributed significantly to this wealth, but his career extends beyond this single role. Cryer's diverse work in stage, film, and television has cemented his status as a versatile and accomplished actor. In addition to his acting career, 
John Cryer recently ventured into the literary world with his memoir So That Happened. The book offers a lighthearted and often humorous reflection on Cryer's three-decade career, providing readers with insights into his experiences in the entertainment industry. Melanie Linsky Melanie Linsky's acting career has been marked by a consistent commitment to her craft and an impressive ability to bring depth to her roles. One of the standout periods of her career came in the early 2000s when she portrayed Rose on the popular sitcom Two and a Half Men. Linsky's performance as Rose, a character who oscillated between being Charlie Harper's, Charlie Sheen, eccentric stalker and a genuine love interest, was a notable highlight of the series. Despite her compelling portrayal, Linsky faced significant challenges, particularly regarding her salary and career freedom. However, despite the visibility and impact of her role, Linsky's financial compensation for Two and a Half Men was a source of dissatisfaction. Reports indicate that she earned around $200,000 per episode, a figure that, while significant, was reportedly below what she felt was commensurate with her contribution and talent. This salary placed Linsky in a challenging position, as it limited her ability to engage in other projects that she found more fulfilling or better suited to her skills. In interviews, Linsky has expressed her frustration about feeling underpaid and constrained by the limitations imposed by her contract. Despite her dissatisfaction, her dedication to her role and her professionalism never wavered. Thank you for watching the video. We hope you found this video useful. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you like it. Your support is crucial in helping us bring you the latest updates and exclusive details on your favorite stars. Don't forget to leave a comment with your thoughts or any other topics you'd like us to cover next. Thanks for watching and see you in the next videos. Goodbye.